In this video we're going to take a look at the while loop. So let's start our flow charting uh, program called Flow Rhythm. And why might we want to use something like a loop? Well, let's say we want to do something 10 times like print hello. We could do something like this uh, where we just uh, physically code uh, printing out uh, hello that many times. Uh, but there's a better way. Uh, so we're going to use a loop. Uh, so we'll click on here. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, our loop in, which is this while. Um, and so you see we're going to keep repeating. As long as some condition is true, we're going to keep doing it. So if we want to do, do something trivial like uh, print out uh, hello 10 times, we'll go ahead and say hello here. Uh, and so that's what we're going to try to do uh, 10 times. Uh, so to start, we need some kind of counter uh, to keep track of how many times we've gone through. So I'll declare a variable and we'll call it count. That's going to be our counter and it will be an integer because it'll be a whole number of, of count times. We'll need to initialize that. So I'll go ahead and do an assignment statement and we'll just say count is equal to zero. And then we need to decide the condition for the loop. So when will we go into the loop and when will we quit since we're starting at zero and we want to go 10 times. I'm going to say as long as count is less than 10, uh, we will go into the loop and print hello. Otherwise we'll quit. Uh, we need some way out of the loop. So we need count to change as we're in there. Otherwise we'll never get out. We create an infinite loop. Uh, so after we print hello, I'm going to do another assignment statement and we're going to increment count by one. So we're going to take count and set it equal to count plus one more. Uh, notice this is not uh, like an equation in math class. It's an assignment. So we're going to take the old value of count, add one to it and reassign it to that variable. Uh, and so that's just going to add by one each time. So if we trace this zero, uh, zero less than 10, we'll get in, we'll print hello. Uh, zero plus one will be one. So we'll check that and we'll continue doing that. So one is still less than 10. We'll go into the loop until we get to a count of nine. Uh, nine plus one is 10. We'll check 10. Is, is 10 less than 10? No. So we'll, we'll finally exit. Uh, and so we'll go through zero through nine. We'll print hello. So let's try that out. And sure enough, we have to scroll up a little bit, uh, but count those out. Um, and we've got uh, 10 hellos instead of writing uh, 10 statements. We have this loop to do that. And you may be saying, hey, 10 is not that big a deal, but let's say we changed it to 100. Uh, and now we get the program to do the work for us, right? A hundred times uh, we could just change what this value right here from 10 to 100. Um, and we, we've got the work done for us, right? So that's much easier than writing out 100 uh, output statements. So let's change this up slightly. Let's say instead of printing hello uh, 10 times, which uh, may not be very useful, uh, what if we just put count out there? So we're, we're printing count each time um, with the intention of, well, what do you think it's going to do here? Uh, will it count to 10? Um, What's your prediction? Uh, we'll see. I'll go ahead and run it. And you see we actually get 10 different numbers, but since we started at 0, we're going to end at 9. Okay, so if you there's a couple of different things you could do if you want this to print uh, 1 to 10. 1, we could start uh, our count what, at 1. Uh, we could say uh, a couple of things we could do here, less than 11, or we could change this to a what? Less than or equal to. And that would, um, I think, give us what we want to do. We'll start at 1, we'll get there by 1, uh, and we'll get up to 10, right? So let's run that, and that's going to give us what we want. Uh, it printed, uh, you know, 1 through 10. Um, if we wanted to do something like even numbers, uh, we could also change this to start at 2. Uh, and go up to 10 and then here if we just want even numbers uh, we can actually increment instead of by one we can increment by two uh, and so let's run that and see the results so two four six eight ten is is what we would expect there um, okay so that's just a, a quick look at how uh, counter controlled while loops uh, work